signing Senate Bill 53 today. And uh, I want to thank everybody who helped uh, help get it to us. So why don't I turn it over to the uh, the sponsors to say a few words, and then we'll uh, we'll get to the bill. Senator Zensinger. Well, thank you so much, Governor, and thank you everybody that's joining us today. This is a really exciting bill that has been in the works pretty much since November. Uh, I just want to give a special shout out to a couple of organizations that really were the impetus of this of this bill, in particular Case Caspi and the Rural Alliance, really shared with me just the on the ground reality of our schools and school districts right now. Uh, what our, our students and what our, our teachers are experiencing. And it really painted a very clear picture to me about the need for this bill. Uh, times are tough right now. And so I think it's really important that we are doing everything we can to support our, our educators and our schools and our districts. And I think that this funding bill is just a, a small way of saying, we at the legislature, legislature have your back, and we know how difficult this is, and uh, we are here to support you. So it took a lot of creative thinking for this bill to come together, and so I'm very grateful for all of the sponsors and the stakeholders and the Joint Budget Committee for really thinking through such a complex issue. It wasn't just about uh, a drop in enrollment. It wasn't just about the way that we count our at-risk kids. It wasn't just about federal stimulus dollars or or any of those things. It was a very complicated picture. And so I'm, I'm very grateful to all of the people that made this a priority and really got this across the finish line. So thank you. Okay, Representative McLaughlin, I know you worked long and hard on this bill as well. Go ahead. I did, and thank you so much, Governor. I'm very excited to be a part of this team, and it was a big team on this one. It was um, it was not easy, and we had to um, there are a couple of little bumps in the road there that we had to navigate. But um, but I love working with everybody here. It was um, it was really great, and I think with this bill, um, the best I can say is now more than ever, schools need money now more than ever. And this is a good way to get money into the schools right now when they've just survived um, a year now of really horrible consequences. And um, I think it just, it's a very good indicator that the state really, really cares about our schools and our educators and our students. And uh, this is a really grand way to show it. So um, thank you very much. I appreciate um, that you're signing this, thanks. Thanks, and we have uh, from the JBC, another champion of education, Representative McCluskey. Thank you, Governor. I'm uh, so thrilled to be here with my colleagues, um, especially the chair of our Joint Budget Committee, Senator Moreno, who, uh, who was truly a partner in crafting the nuts and bolts behind this bill. Thank you, Senator Zenzinger and Representative McLaughlin for your um, compassionate fierce advocacy for uh, our schools and our school districts. I really want to lift, lift up the importance this bill um, has in, in maybe shifting how we've looked at school funding in the past. Now's the time to be innovative and creative with our approaches. Um, now is the time to figure out how we can drive more dollars to our, our communities of poverty, our small, rural, remote communities, the, the communities that are um, most adversely impacted by this moment. Uh, the pandemic has brought all sorts of challenges um, to our classrooms, and it's through the resiliency of so many teachers and 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 very passionate principals and school district leaders, and of course our school boards that helps make everything work and keeps kids on track and make sure they're learning. So the fact that we could do our part and invest some dollars at this point in time to keep those districts on track. I'm just, I'm very proud to be a part of this great team. So thank you all. And uh, thanks to the advocates here today that are pictured on our screen and also all those advocates uh, out in this, in this state who make Colorado's education system run so, um, so smoothly and with such great success. Thank you and Senator Moreno. Hi everyone, uh, thanks governor for signing this really important bill today. The mid-year adjustment to school finance is usually such a routine 
type of, of bill. It's really supposed to just be a true up, uh, but I, there's been nothing routine about the last year that we've been in. And we know our schools are doing more than ever to uh, make sure that our, uh, that our kids stay on track, that they are educated. Uh, this was a difficult bill to get right from a policy perspective. And uh, it reminded me how um, messed up our school finance act uh, is and why there is uh, some adjustments needed there. And I know uh, many of the folks on, on, on this call and you governor are committed to that, to that work going forward and, and uh, revising our school finance act so that it best serves kids, best serves educators uh, and looking forward to that work ahead. Thanks again. Great. We also have our great Commissioner of Education, uh, Katie Anthes. Katie. Thank you, Governor. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to our um, senators and representatives and, and the governor's office. Thank you for um, putting schools first and for um, showing the priority that you have for schools. This is going to be much uh, needed and appreciated from our districts. Um, and want to give a huge thank you and shout out to all teachers, parents, administrators, students who have weathered such a difficult year. So this is something that we can say to them that shows, you know, how how much we prioritize them. And also just want to thank the advocates that have been working on this and all of our partners. So uh, really appreciate all of the hard work and time and effort in this. It, does not go unnoticed and we really, really appreciate it in the education um, sector, so thank you. Thank you, and I see we have a lot of great stakeholders in the call. I wanna thank all of them for uh, the great work on uh, this bill. Um, for those of you who haven't met her yet, our new education policy person, Alana Plaus is on the line. Uh, thank you, Alana, for joining us. I see a lot of other good friends. And as uh, some of the representatives and senators said, this, this bill will send the money right out. Um, and we know how important that is. And in many cases, districts already built their budgets based on this money uh, and, and expected it and, and were worried they weren't gonna get it and, and now will get it. Obviously there's different pots and they're getting federal money and this and that, but this is money that was basically for many of them in their projected budgets. And so uh, it's good to make sure that they uh, can meet those, those obligations. And uh, is there anybody else uh, speaking today? How's it gonna speak now or forever hold your peace, right? Okay. Uh, good. I think we got to everybody. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. I'm not sure how we can get the camera here. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's one. And I flipped the page and I'll sign in the other one. And congratulations to everybody. Uh, and CDE will get all that money out by, by 4.50 today. Right, Katie? Is that right? 4.50? You need about half an hour? Yep, well, I've got my team on the call right now, so they're ready to go. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you to our legislators. Thank you for CDE. Very exciting. This is a good victory for kids in Colorado. And uh, thank you all for your great work. Thank you. Thank you, Governor.